Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. Okay, so this is gonna be a fun video. I did a video a couple of months ago, like some wardrobe basics for your closet, and you guys loved that, and decided to do something similar, but with a twist, because before I am a style and a fashion girly, I'm a finance girly first. And the last thing that I would want you guys to do is go and blow your budget over something that you might see, or if I'm saying, get rid of everything in your closet and do this. I Please don't do that, okay? I, I, I get it, I do get a very, very small commission on every Every time you guys click the link but don't go blowing your budget because I show you something if you like it if you love it put it in your budget and then buy it when your budget will allow you to do that <laughs> so I think for this video I really wanted to bring you guys some spring and summer trends that I have been able to do um, that I think will work with anybody's wardrobe or clothing style whether you're a neutrals girl full of color, all black, whatever it might be for you in your wardrobe situation right now. I think that these spring and summer accessories would be perfect for anyone. So let's just get into today's video. Okay, first things first, and I will have to say that it took me a very, very long time to get to where we are now. But I kept seeing it and I kept seeing it and I kept seeing it. I was like, let me just try a couple of pieces. And that is silver jewelry i don't know who started it off i felt like it came from like a high-end designer and then it slowly trickled down to everybody else i don't know who started it but silver jewelry has been making the biggest comeback since michael jordan came back from the from retirement like i feel like <laughs> I feel like this silver comeback has had all of the girlies in a chokehold. And it took me a while. I was like, you know what? I am going to try some. So I had actually picked up some pieces from one of my vendors. Because I was like, I'm thinking about having a collection. Picked up some. Tried them out. I was like, okay. So maybe certain pieces. So what I will say is that everything that I have here, I just dropped it. And I am recording this on a Saturday, so the day before you guys see it. So as of right now, everything that I'm showing you guys, this has to go up on the site yet. I just got this in yesterday and I was like, oh my god, I kind of want to wear it. And I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I will have this on the site by the time you guys see this, I promise. Uh, but like all of these, these bodega dupes of the teardrop, everything that I have on right now is on this site by the time you guys watch this. So silver jewelry is in. What I will say is that you are a gold girly, which I am. I wouldn't go crazy with the silver jewelry. I would think maybe one or two necklaces, one or two pair of earrings, three or four um, rings. I do have some bracelets, I just don't have them all right now. Maybe like one or two bracelets. I wouldn't go crazy with it um, until you get used to it. I would really only try probably one, one, and maybe two. And then once you get used to it, or if you find ways that you can incorporate into your wardrobe, then maybe do a couple of each, but don't go crazy. But try it. I like this. I think for me, I like the chunky type. So these are, or not chunky, just like statement. Like I feel like this makes a statement with the class and with this down here. I feel like these make a statement here. This is kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a wrapped ring. And then of course the bodega dupe. So I realize that I like silver jewelry that makes a statement. I don't want a simple necklace. I'm gonna save that for the gold. I don't want a simple bracelet save that for the gold so I want silver jewelry that can make a statement but I definitely think silver is here for the summer silver is here for the summer I don't know how long silver is going to be here but silver showed up on gold and like pull up if you want to and silver pulled up and I would say I'm mad about it but yeah depending on the silver I'm not that mad about it okay next up in the summer accessories I think anybody could pull off and that is cute footwear that can mean everything from like some nice embellished sandals, a cute heel that has something funky that goes on with it, or a nice like a colored sneaker. I've decided to put my time and effort into the sandals part of the game because I, my sneakers, I'm not going to wear a pink sneaker. Like if I do wear a pink sneaker, it's because the occasion called for it. I'm not going to wear the pink sneaker in the fall and the winter. And so I didn't want to invest my money in a like bright colorful sneaker because I know that I'm not going to be able to wear it. I have invested my money into some spring and summer like statement sandals. Let me show you. So the first ones you guys probably already have seen if you watched my most recent vlog that came out Thursday and that are these are these like gold gladiator um, sandals that I got from 
far-fetched but the brand is ash absolutely love these i didn't realize how comfortable they were i normally don't like a sand like i like for my sandal to be completely flat how dare you youtube i'm trying to show so in the background was supposed to be italy because me and william this is completely unrelated i apologize we were gonna go you guys know i did a luxury wish list and me and william were gonna go to the maldives for our 10 year anniversary yep child it's been a decade it's a ball and chain but when we decided to do the logistics and just how just the time and the effort that we're going to be on a flight a flight to actually get there and then the time difference it was just once I started doing the logistics I was like all right babe, I don't I don't know if we really want to do this because if we do I'm going for 10 days I'm going to go for 10 days not including the travel so if we don't include travel we're going to be gone for like 13 and a half days and that's a long time to be without my child so we've decided to go to either the Amalfi Coast or Capri. So I have Italy in the background 4K on YouTube. Totally unrelated, but it went to commercials. Like, how dare you? I'm trying to give summer vibes and you're over here with a movie commercial. Anyway, so I got these from Farfetch. Love these, they're actually super comfortable. Um, and I've worn these probably about two or three times. So I picked these up. The other ones that I picked up, this was totally not going to be a purchase that I kept. I actually got these because I was going to a baby shower. If you guys have seen the vlog, I was going to um, one of our friend's baby showers. They're blue because their fraternities and their sororities are blue. Don't I don't remember the the fraternities and their sororities are blue, so I wanted to pick up a blue shoe. So I picked these up at Belk, and when I didn't wear them, I was like, oh, I guess I'll just take it. I'll just take it back. But I love how iridescent this shoe is, and I have only worn it twice: um, one for date night, and then one for just like sushi with a friend. And when I tell you that I got so many compliments on this shoe, and I think what I like, and I'll if I find it, I'll link it. It's from Jessica Simpson. Um, what I like about this shoe is that I can wear it with silver or gold accessories and I think that's why I love it so much is because this is the first shoe I'm like oh my god this is also this could be for the silver girls so I did pick these up like I said from Jessica Simpson the other shoe that I just got from Nordstrom Rack and this is for the gold girlies but it's definitely on par for spring and I think this is the way where if you don't want to have to redo your entire closet just judge up your accessories. I tell people all the time that is actually the slogan for my shop, Shop Living Fearless, is elevate your accessories. Okay, because you could have the, y'all see me, I have dressed up a white tee and some jeans for the girls just by accessories. So I found these at my local Nordstrom Rack. These are Michael Kors. <laughs> when Michael make a comeback? Okay. Everybody making comebacks now. Michael, silver. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I picked up these gold gladiator shoes up. I normally wear, so I'm I'm normally eight and a half, but for heels I get a nine to allow myself some room. But these only came in eight and a half. I picked them up. I was like, if I can find them in the nine, that's great. But if I can't, I'm I'm wearing these. So if y'all see a little bit of my toe out, just don't say nothing because I wanted these shoes. <laughs> I wanted these shoes. Absolutely loved these. These, like I said, they are gold for the girlies, but I love them. So definitely you can make a statement with your shoes. I actually, now that I'm looking at it, I also picked these up. If you haven't been to Nordstrom Rack or even Nordstrom Rack online, their shoe, their clothing is a hit or miss, especially in the store. Um, but their shoes, it's a hit whether you're in the store or online. I also picked these up from Sam Edelman. Oh, it's going to get washed out. Let me see. Come on, focus on the shoe. Focus on the shoe. There it goes. See how we have that like nice knit chunky? It's so cute. And what I like about it is that the heel isn't that tall, but it's so comfortable. You guys have seen this if you watched a short. I posted a short about a like nice day party outfit and I had on, well I posted here is like the far-fetched dress that I got. I'm in love with that dress. I will link it. The last time I linked it, it only had like one extra large left. So if you're a size 10 to 12, you're probably gonna need extra large, unless you're not heavy in the bottoms. Like if I wasn't so thick in the bottoms, I could have done a large, but because these thighs be thighs, and exactly, I needed an extra large. So I'll post that. So I did that with the tote that we're about to, wear the bag that we're gonna talk about in a second. And I paired it with these chunky shoes and I thought they were so cute. I'll link a couple of different options for you, both the, like a flat shoe and also a heel. But I definitely think making a statement with a nice 
I think for the summer, you just want to make statements with your accessories. That's what I'm going to say. Summer is the time to make statements with your accessories. That's what this video is all about. Why didn't I just say that? Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's keep going on. All right, so I said before that we're going to get into the tote. We're going to get to it now. And that is straw and woven or raffi whatever the material is it's it's in for the summer most people think that it's just for vacation but it depends on what it depends on the accessory i think if you have something very loose like if you have that beach tote that this like not structured and it sways in the wind i think that is strictly for vacation but i think if you have something nice and structured like this baby I think this baby could just be for anything and I have I have worn this bag so many times it's absolutely ridiculous but I love it so you guys have seen this in the previous vlog um, I got this from Farfetch it is by the brand Stodd it has the woven um, texture here and then it has like a cognac color here this this is because it is structured this can be for anything this can be for a regular day out this can be for vacation this can be for date night because it's a nice structured thing it's not like a like i said a beach tote that doesn't have any structure so definitely the straw raffia i'll put it up here you know what i'm saying that kind of fabric um speaking of I know I have on a hat and we're gonna get to that, but I definitely think you should have a straw fedora. Shameless plug, this is mine, shoplivingfearless.com. I like it. Some people, now what I will say, this really depends on the vibe that you're trying to give off. I don't think this is like running errands type of thing. I think this is definitely a vacation. I think that this is maybe a day party, anything outside, day party, rooftop, happy hour outside something i think that this is definitely vibes if you're going to be inside for most of the day i wouldn't really do this because like i said i think this says not only summer but we outside that is that i would call it we outside but i don't want to do that but this is the we outside hat but it's a nice structured straw fedora it has this black uh thread on here but you can easily take that off and just wear it plain or put whatever like accessories that you want to have on your hat so definitely love that straw structured straw accessories are in like i said like i said again if it's flimsy leave it at the beach leave it leave it on vacation but if it's nice and structured you can wear that thing out during the day Okay, let's keep going. Okay, next up, you guys know I wasn't gonna give you all these accessories and not mention the sunglasses. So what I will say is the smaller sunglasses, they are definitely in, but my face, the way that my face is set up, we can't do small. We, it's like a little bit, I can't do it. I've, I've tried it. I've ordered a couple of pair off of Amazon hoping that I can eventually get like comfortable with it. I don't. I like. For, to me, when I put those small glasses on, I look like a smoker from the 80s. <laughs> That's how I see myself with small glasses. But what I will say is I do think that some version of colored glasses are in. So first things up, and I will try to link some version of these. Is I got these sunglasses. And they have just a little bit of color like on the outside. So it's not the typical sunglass that I would pick. But how cute are these sunglasses? They're absolutely adorable. So I think that this is like my vibe for the summer. While I'm still getting a little bit of color in on my face, but it's not so obnoxious that the neutral person in me is scared. And then it still gives me a little bit of a square, which I think square, square or like rectangle glasses are in. So it's not as small as the girlies are wearing but it's not as oversized as I normally have. So I picked these up and I'm being honest, I don't know where I picked these up. The brand is Tahari, so I'm pretty sure I picked them up at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. But I did get these online on Amazon. Once again, these are another pair of color sunglasses. So it gives me just a little bit of color, but not too much to wear. Like I said, I'm not freaking out. You know, I love these. These actually come in a couple of different colors. So I ordered them in forest green. I'll pop the picture up here and I thought they would be here in time. Amazon lost my package. Like Amazon never loses my packages. Let's talk about it. Amazon losing a package, it said it's lost in shipping. Amazon, that's not what you do. It was, it was, and then it was like, I ordered them for the next day. How can you lose a package in 24 hours? Anyway, so I did get them in a cute green color 
and I absolutely loved them. Another thing that I actually personally love about these sunglasses, and I don't know if I've ever told you guys, is normally when I buy sunglasses, like when I buy these, I have to go and get them like taking in a little bit because even though my face is big, this area, like this area right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is very small, it's very narrow. And so a lot of times when I have to wear glasses, I have to get them like, I don't know how to, get, I have to get them tightened. That's what I have to get them tightened because if I do this, the sunglass will fall. And this was the first pair of sunglasses that I've gotten in quite a while where I didn't have to go and get them tightened. So loved these. If you have more of a chunkier face right here, it might give you a headache because these fit like they're good. But that's only because like right here, my face is the only part of my face <laughs> that's narrow. The other thing that I picked up, and I just got these, and I'm actually so obsessed. I'm going to have to do some deep diving for you guys because even though I got them from Nordstrom Rack, when I pulled up my receipt um, online, it says not available, like product not available online. So I'm going to have to find them from somewhere else. But I love these. I know. I'm going to show them to you. You're going to be like, but you don't do color. I know. But let me show you why. I got these pink blue light glasses they're from their brand key q u a y y'all i saw these glasses and i was like are you serious i think i love them because one they're blue light glasses and i i don't know about you but i'm doing a lot of stuff with the screen my nine to five influencing editing there's a lot of things going on with my so i i'm i stay in blue light glasses especially when i'm at home so i like that I like that when I look down, once again, I don't have to do the whole, I didn't have to get them tightened. Love that too. And then three, they're such a good color. So even if I want to wear these out, I can wear these with something simple, a white tee, a white dress, something cream. I just love these glasses and I think I loved the price even more. Should I tell y'all the price? I don't know if I should tell y'all the price because when I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to link these in the price, but they were regular $60 um, or they were regular, no, they're regular, like, the key price was, like, $120. And then Nordstrom Rack had them on their Nordstrom price for $60. But then they had a clearance that was 50% off of that. So I paid $30 for these glasses. And they're cute. I'll link some colored glasses for you. And I'll try to keep it in that $30 frame, like, that $30. But then I'll also link some actually key blue light glasses. And they're not going to be $30. Okay, I just want y'all to know that I'm going to have a couple of different price points, but these, if I can find these exact same ones, they're not going to be $30. Okay, I think I only have, yeah, I think I have two left. Uh, first is the pink lip, so I think colored lips are in. Um, as much as I want to continue to wear my red, I know that for the spring and summer, I just love a good pink lip for the spring and the summer. Like I think between the pink lip and then the green that I have in my eyeshadow, I just, this is just definitely giving me like summer vibes. Um, my pink, now I will wear the same pink. That's just the thing. I don't, I don't like to test the waters. If you guys have another like go-to pink lip, let me know. But for the summer, I really do a pink lip and then I also do a coral lip. So this pink lip, this is Vino by MAC. Um, and then, I don't know the name of this. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color Prague. And that's what I have on. Let me bring you guys closer. Come on. It's such a cute lip. Yeah, so I have that. And then the only other lip be that I do wear is um, I do a coral lip and that's when I'll do the chestnut um, lip liner. I don't remember the name, but it's a NYX lip cream. I'll figure it out the name because it's downstairs and I'll link it below but I love a good pink and I love a good coral but I think colored lips are definitely in if you want to do all that I've seen some girls do purple and, and all the things I I think for me my safe space is pink so it still gives me a little bit of a pop of a color for spring and summer but not too much right where I'm like what are you doing you're never gonna wear that lippy again. So definitely love those two. Okay, I think I said I had two, I had two left, but now I really have two left. <laughs> okay, next thing up is gonna be a color fedora. Once again, shameless plug, shoplivingfearless.com. I, 
I get a lot of questions about how are you wearing fedoras in the summer? How are you not? Does this not protect you from the shade? Like I, my, I will, I will put my hair back in a bun because what I now what I don't do is I don't wear my hair down with a fedora in the summer. I don't want those kind of problems. Like I, I, I enjoy my neck being dry I'd rather not have a sweaty neck. But in the summer, I actually would love to wear a fedora because then it blocks the shade, it blocks the sun. So I'll put on a fedora, pin my hair back, put on a cute outfit, or put on a simple outfit. Some people say they don't wear fedoras in the spring and the summer, and that's your vibe. That's that's you. I'm gonna wear a fedora 365 days a year. I just think it depends on what you have your hair, like what your hair looks like under the fedora as to what you're doing. Like if I have faux locks or if I have twists, I'm not gonna put a fedora on top because I'm not gonna be able to put the hair back in a ponytail in a bun like this where it's like not on my neck. So I'm not even going to bother. But if it's just my hair out, I'm gonna put a fedora on. Hello. So definitely a fedora. This is our Mykonos. We have a couple of other like nice colorful colors we have a nice selection of blues we have some yellows we have some purples we got some pinks we got any kind of color that you might need i got this new one i'm called frosé it's so cute anyway a color fedora if you don't like to wear fedoras if it's not your spill that's fine just keep your outfit basic <laughs> i gotta stop let's move to the last one Okay, the last accessory, which you aren't going to be able to see, but you'll definitely be able to smell, and that is summer scented perfumes. I have been on a kick probably for the last month and a half getting my summer scents together because I used to have a ton of them. And then sisters, right, came, and at the time it was fall and it was winter, and there was even a point like later on in my pregnancy, I didn't want to smell. Like it was like... I don't want to smell nothing. So I was like, you can have it. And then when I looked up, I was like, they really took everything. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. So I had to re-up on my spring and summer scent. Something floral, something fruity. I love floral and fruity stuff for the summer. It might just be me. Some people like a combination of the two. I don't want to smell nothing. If I have a vanilla scent, I'm going to mix it with something fruity. I don't do musks in the, in the fall, in the spring and the summer. I just don't. So... Two of the ones that I have just most recently picked up, and this is why I have them, because I just grabbed them, and that is the Fleur Not Your Baby. I got this from Sephora. It just smells. I actually found it on Anthropology, but when I went in, they didn't have it anymore. Like they didn't have any in stock. So I just sprayed myself down heavily with the tester, because I wanted to test it out. But to see if it was if it was gonna like be nice on my skin, they didn't have any more in stock. They don't really do like testers because it's not a perfume store; it's Anthropology. So I was like, all right, fine. I didn't spray perfume anyway, so I'm just like, want to test and see what it looks like, like what it smells like on my skin. Loved it, so I went to Sephora and I got it. So I got this, and this is how I know it's serious. Normally, I never get a a full on like full size version. I normally try the travel size version to see how it works over a couple of days before I commit. I immediately committed to this, immediately. And it smells so good. So that's the one that I recently got. The other one that I recently got, and I'll list a couple of, or link a couple of other ones in the um, cards below. I did get the Eden Juicy Apple from Kaoli recently. I got it in the travel size because once again, I just wasn't sure how it was, how it was going to test with my skin and my pheromones. And then I just got another one from Nordstrom, like a Jimmy Choo or something like that. I'll link a couple of the ones that I've got, but the next one up is the Glossier. This is, this has your girls in the chokehold. Like this is I get on TikTok and everybody's talking about the Glossier perfume, Glossier perfume, and it's like sold out. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll just go get it at Sephora. I went to my local Sephora and it was sold out. I was like, the 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 girls, the TikTok girls, I made it all the way to Birmingham. What is going on? So I had to order it. <laughs> they don't have travel size when I ordered it. So I did get the full version. What I will say is that this is very lightweight. Um, so much lightweight that I normally, this isn't something that I will wear out during the day if it's not layered. Uh, I do wear it at night, like when I'm done taking a shower and I want like a nice scent to go to bed in, or if I'm about to get ready to go to the gym and I kind of want to, you know, something to smell good when I'm about to give up because she done told us to do burpees. I like to do this. Like this is my, this is my keep going perfume or this is my relaxing perfume. 
that's so weird keep going you know what i'm saying it's, it's what i need it to be in the moment so it's very lightweight i don't think it has enough of a hold of a staying power so if you're going to wear it out i would definitely layer it with something else i have been layering it without wearing it out with the eat and juicy apple by kali or i have been pairing it most recently this week with the vanilla 28 by kali mixing it with this if you don't like vanilla you ain't gonna like it but if you like vanilla with this together it's a vibe it's definitely it's definitely a vibe so yeah definitely a spring summer floral fruity scents if you need a couple of inspirations i will link them in the description box below and then a lot of you guys are asking me about layering i will do probably four of my different layering combinations that i have been doing this spring and summer i'll put those below for you as well so you kind of can get an idea if you are unfamiliar and you're like what the hell are you talking about with layering just google it or youtube it because there's a lot of youtubers that are out there i know karina i like to follow her when she she does a, i'll actually put her in the description box below she does a lot with perfumes she does a lot with like layering and just like general information on perfumes especially if you're a novice like me i don't know notes i know this smells good and this don't so she puts like notes and how this perfume and these notes work with this perfume and these notes. She does she does her homework, honey, and I appreciate it because I don't know the notes. So I go to her, I was like, oh, that does kind of, that look cute. Let me try that. So that's what I do. All right, so guys, so we have made it to the end of, I'm hoping it's not a long video. I realize that when I do sit down videos, I get really long-winded because I be trying to talk to you guys, you know? I'm in this room all by myself talking to a camera. I be wanting to talk to people. I want to talk to people so I hope it's not that long um everything that I have showed you guys in the video I'll make sure to link below Alicia remember to put this on the site for tomorrow if you guys look up and this isn't on the site tomorrow blame me hit hit like run me for filth in the comments because I should have done it by now it's only 10.08 I have no reason why this can't be up by the time this goes out at seven o'clock tomorrow so y'all run me for filth and I, this will be the first time where I'm not going to get mad. <laughs> but I will try to link absolutely everything that I show in the video. If I can't link anything exact, I will try to do a really good job of linking substitutions. And I'll let you know that there are substitutions in the description box. So, if you have made it... Oh, that's so pretty. I love looking at these. They're like 4K videos. I love looking at them. Now that I know we're going to Italy, I've been looking at anything that says Italy or Capri or the Amalfi Coast. I just love it. Anyway, if you have made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys Thursday, 7 o'clock. Later.